Washington is ranked near the top half of his class. We not letting none of it be strong, son. We got this. He stressed, and I am too. Like, I told him I, I probably would start crying. Like, my son is, I don't know what to do for him. This coming June is when Tiffany France thought her son would receive his diploma. And I'm just trying to fight. He like, mom, what, yeah. what was all this for? What did I do this for? Like, don't he get a chance? Do he get a chance? But after four years of high school, this mom just learned her 17-year-old has to start over. He's been moved back to ninth grade. Why would he do three more years in school? You, he didn't fail. The school failed him. The school failed at their job. They failed. They failed. That's the problem. here they failed they failed he didn't deserve that france's son attends augusta fell savage institute of visual arts in west baltimore his transcripts show in four years he has passed just three classes earning two and a half credits which places him in ninth grade but france says she didn't know that until february she has three children and works three jobs. She thought her oldest son was doing well because even though he failed most of his classes, he was being promoted. His transcripts show he failed Spanish one and algebra one, but was promoted to Spanish two and algebra two. He also failed English two, but was passed on to English three. I'm just assuming that if you are passing, that that you have the proper things, you know, to go to the next grade. And, you know, the right grades, you have the right credits. As we dig deeper into her son's records, we can see in his first three years at Augusta Fells, he failed 22 classes and was late or absent 272 times. But in those three years, only one teacher requested a parent conference, which France says never happened. No one from the school told this mother her son was failing and not going to class. Yeah. France's son, in his four years at Augusta Fells, earned a grade point average of 0.13. He only passed three classes. But his transcripts show his class rank is 62 out of 120. This means nearly half of his classmates, 58 of them, have a GPA of 0 0.13 or lower. He's a good kid. Like, he didn't deserve that. Where is the mentors? Where is the help for him? I don't, I hate that this is happening to my child. In your opinion, did the school system fail this child? Absolutely. This city school administrator who works inside North Avenue asked not to be identified for fear of retaliation. That school community, we failed this too. This administrator told Fox 45 News, city schools failed because it has protocols and interventions set up to help students who are falling behind or have low attendance. In France's son's case, they didn't happen. I get angry. I, I, there's, there's nothing but, but frustration. We see on the news, uh, the, the crime that occurs. We know that there are high levels of poverty in Baltimore. Things like this are adding to that. These children are why I do this work. Dr. Sonia Santelisis was school CEO four years ago when Francis' son was a freshman. But she will not interview with Fox 45 News. Instead, we received this two-page statement, which explains what should happen when a student is chronically absent or failing. The district says students received a letter about their academic status status this past summer, and records can be accessed through the campus portal. When a student is absent, an automated <coughs> call is placed to the number on file. The statement also said the school conducted recent home visits and the student's parent visited the school. But France says none of that happened 
What this statement does not address is why Francis' son was promoted despite failing classes. It doesn't discuss his class rank or the 58 other students with a GPA of 0.13 or lower. But it does say North Avenue is reviewing actions that impacted student outcomes at the school prior to this year. I really, it took a lot for me to just build the courage to do this, like. If you were to talk to this mom, what would you say to her? You know, I didn't have a hand on this student, but I work for city schools. So he is one of my kids. I would hug her and I would, I would, I would apologize profusely. And he feels embarrassed, like he feels like a failure. And I'm like, you can't feel like that. And you have to be strong. And you gotta, you gotta keep fighting. You know, life is about fighting. Things happen, but you gotta keep fighting. And and he's willing. He he's he's trying. But he where where do, who would he turn to when the people that's supposed to help him is not? Who do he turn to? France has pulled her son out of Augusta Fells. He is now enrolled in an accelerated school program at another high school in West Baltimore. She is told if he works hard, he could graduate by 2023. And if you would like to read City School's entire two-page statement, we have posted it on our website, foxbaltimore.com. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore. I would like to know one thing. Where was the mother? Evidently, there's no father. There's a report card that comes home every week, every semester. And you telling me in a four year period, she did not see any, I repeat, any report card at all. So you tell me whose fault is it? It's the parents. You can blame the school system, but you must understand this. You must be the caretaker of your child's education. And evidently this mother wasn't. And this happens throughout most inner cities. These single mothers don't look at their children's report card. And you're gonna tell me after Three years, your son passes three courses, has an average of 0 0.13, and you have no idea what's going on. Yes, the school system is at fault because the teachers union can care less about your child's education because their children go to school in the suburbs. They go to private schools, Catholic schools. You remember what Elijah Muhammad said? If someone won't treat you right, they won't teach you right. And now she's crying on TV. This should have happened his freshman year. She should have been investigating every aspect of that school. But she did not. And this is what happens when you turn your kids over to a teacher's union in the Democrat party. They can care less about your child. The teacher's union is about the teachers, not your child. Now they're saying this young man can graduate in 2023, and you know that's not gonna happen. He's gonna drop out of school. This is a, a disgrace to this community that this young black men and so many of them are being treated this way within our school system. She's saying, where's the mentors? The first mentor is supposed to be his father, but evidently he's not around. So we must find other men to take his place but it might be too late. I hope and pray that she can get him the help that's needed. I wanna thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, 
and also share this video.